Hello everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. In today's video, we're gonna react to Melanie Martinez Fire Drill. Uh, as I had come to the end of the Crybaby music video reaction series, I was asking everybody, what should I check out next? Should I check out a couple of the other songs or singles that were made that didn't have videos? Should we jump into K through 12? Should we watch the whole movie, the video? And right in the middle of all these questions, uh, out comes a new single. So we're just gonna react to that one right now. Uh, if you like what you see on my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to support me further to keep the channel around long term. I have links in this video description for my Patreon, my Twitch Prime, and my merch store. So as far as I know, no, um, you know, I guess traditional music video was released. It looks like it was just the audio they released. There might be a couple lyric videos out there, but I have the lyrics pulled up separately. So uh, I'm super excited to get to experience real-time new music from somebody that I've been reacting to for a few months now. So here we go. I've never fit into any category Always deep down Sunday school and all the cool kids said I was weird. It's exactly the same they say. Why do you dress that way? Why do you act that way? Why don't you dress like me? <laughs> so is that what you really want to say to me? You play games with me, telling me if I'm a kind, still you abandon me, calling me words I'm not painting a picture this fall. You must not know my heart, but I know it isn't your fault. You live in a world in your clutch. You don't get out very much Living in a fake world filled with facades and chaotic behavior You pull the lever for fun You'll fire, then you just run <laughs> hmm. Fire drill, what would happen if a new just hit? Will you say bye to your family? Would you post about it? Fire drill, if it all went up in flames one day Would you give your mom a hug before your house the best for you pause in a sec the the music right away wasn't there there was a handlebars song that came out like i don't know 10 11 years ago something like that a song about a song about riding a bike yeah with handlebars, um, and for some reason, that uh, that song jumped out when I heard the melody from this music. Um, not to say that it's the same, but it must be similar because it sparked a memory of a song that I'd forgotten about. Um, so I did like the music of this one right away, and it's an interesting melody she's singing over it. Let me take a look at some of these lyrics here. Um, I've never fit into any category, always deemed an outcast. Since I was in Sunday school and all the cool kids said I was weird, it's exactly the same, they say. Why do you dress that way? Why do you act that way? Why don't you dress like me? So is that what you really want to say to me? You're playing games with me, telling me if I'm kind. Still you abandon me, calling me words. I'm not painting a picture that's false. You must not know my heart, but I know it isn't your fault. There's a lot of lyrics here, um, a lot of words. You live in a world and your clutch, you don't get out very much, living in the fake world full of facades and chaotic behavior. You pull the lever for fun, yell fire, then you just run. Fire drill, what would happen if a nuke just hit? Would you say bye to your family? Would you post about it? Fire drill, if it all went up in flames one day, would you give your mom a hug before your house burned away? <clears throat> I have several thoughts about this. First of all, I've never fit into any category. I've always been deemed an outcast, kids saying that I was weird. What I don't understand is what the fuck is normal supposed to be? You know what I mean? If everyone says, why can't you just be normal? There are thousands of millions, billions of human beings on this planet that have a lot of different uh, combination of just their natural, uh, their nature, the genes that they're born with, and then their uh, their nurture, the situation that they're brought into this world with, their friends and family, their environment that I have no control over that shapes them, you know, one way or another. And so I'm just like, what is normal supposed to be, you know? Like, who, 
who is the arbiter of normal, right? Fucking nobody. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, the, the closest thing that I can say to normal is be, you know, follow the general rules of a collective society where we don't hurt each other and don't bother each other and kind of get along. You know what I mean? Like, besides that, who the fuck cares? Um, <clears throat> going to Sunday school, saying, why don't you act, why do you dress that way? Why do you act that way? Is that really what you want to say to me? I do think it's interesting how, um, you know, just religion in general seems to immediately it's divisive it, it it's branded any i mean any religion anywhere is branded as an inclusive uh united a uniting thing but the reality is if somebody doesn't believe what you believe then you just created a divider right you just said oh you're different from me you can't go to the special place that happens when we die whether it's virgins or heaven or reincarnation or waiting for the earth to be re-inherited by humans in the afterlife, whatever it is. Oh, you don't think that? Now there's a divide. Now there's a reason to judge you. Now there's a reason to not get along with you, right? And I know that there are good people out here that don't do that, but even the good people, regardless of the religion, when you, when you join a community and a community says, think this, have this knowledge, have this point of view, this world perspective, and that others that don't, whether you're supposed to love them or not, you think differently of them. You think other of them because they don't believe what you believe. You know what I mean? Even if you want the best for everybody. So I just think it, it is kind of interesting to me that, you know, she maybe she actually did go to Sunday school or maybe she knew somebody with a Sunday school experience. I don't know. But that's always fascinated me just about religion in general, regardless of what anybody's particular belief or community is, is that, um, you know, when you say this is a community, we are inclusive, but this is what we think, then you're not, I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's inherently divisive to have a religion at all because you're creating a barrier between you and other humans. Um, yeah, that just those thoughts just kind of jumped and rambled because I saw that. I just pictured just a poor little girl in Sunday school just trying to, you know, get through the fucking day and these little assholes making fun of her because she looks different or sounds different and it pissed me off and so I went on a little rant. Um, fire drill again li yeah living in a fake world full of facades uh, you pull the lever for fun and you'll fire and just run so I think that's like some people you know in life in this world um, don't have hardship you know they have whether it's just privilege or good luck or money or uh, education, like whatever whatever the resources are or whatever the, the circumstances in your life, some people have it harder than others. That's just the reality. And some people are just plain luckier than others. You know, they don't, they don't know, suffer great loss either through, you know, friends and family passing away early or having to, you know, suddenly be evicted from your house or have to find a new job or have to you know get an emergency new car without a support system around you some people are just lucky and so for them like a fire something bad happening is almost like entertainment it's like oh something's finally happening because i'm so fucking bored with everything going my way um so then with the chorus of fire drill what would you happen if a nuke just hit would you say bye to your family would you post about it that's like she's saying i've been through the real shit I know how to handle a fire drill because I've been in the fucking fire. What would you do? Would you even take it seriously or would you just post about it on social media and watch as the world burned? You know what I mean? Because you've never had to experience challenge. So, anyway, that's just the first minute 30. If I'm honest with you, you just run and hide I'm bad at public speaking But I'm speaking now, so hear me out I personally believe that Everyone is fully capable Of more than what they're doing All of the bullying, all of the screwing around With people they don't even really know and a hate souffle and an angry bitter sorbet all cause you were bored one day losing your wits and your grace fire drill what would happen if a new chest of course again when you say body and family would you 
Oh, this is part of the chorus. I love the effect on her voice. I'm going to rewind a little bit so we can talk about this verse. That's an awesome, that's an awesome effect. It's like, again, it's like a crybaby kind of voice. I sound, it sounds like to me. Um, so let's go back. Crying inside because nothing I say ever comes out right. We're on the same side. If I'm honest with you, you just run and hide. I'm bad at public speaking, but I'm speaking now, so hear me out. I personally believe that everyone is fully capable of more than what they're doing. All the bullying, all the screwing around with people they don't even really know. Eating a hate souffle and an angry bitter sorbet, all because you were bored one day, losing your wits and your grace. Yeah, and a lot of this, I've said it before in prior reactions, I don't know if this is um, a symptom of social media in the internet boom, or if humans were always this narcissistic and petty and infighting, and just the internet gave a voice to that and amplified it, or if it's probably a combination of both, um, where it's kind of feeding off of each other. Um, but it is very interesting to me as somebody who you know grew up in the 90s with can can remember the pre-internet era and to now exist in the full-on social media internet era i completely feel like again just from my personal experience things are are way more negative at least publicly than they have ever been so i don't know if it was always that way or if uh, social media is making us that way or if it's just amplifying something that was already there there's way more informed people about that but I think about that stuff maybe I should look into it because um, yeah I definitely feel like yeah anger bitterness causing fights you know people argue with strangers people argue with people they don't even know they don't even care if they believe or not they just want to argue you know what I mean like I've heard people on podcasts say, like, it's just fun to argue online. It's fun to see what the other person will say. Almost like it's a video game. Like, they don't realize it's a real human being on the other side. Maybe you should have, like, an AI bot to poke and prod and see what response you get instead of an actual human being, you know? Um, let's see. Yeah, you think I ignore you, but I'm trying to have my own life and be more present. Like, it's not... Um, yeah, it shouldn't be seen as like a mean or a bad thing to be focusing on you making the best version of yourself and wanting the people around you to be the best version of themselves, whatever that is. I am not the fucked up man. I am not a part of anything that is hateful. Love is seeping out my pores. I don't hold anger anymore. Even for people who hurt and betray me. Okay. I am not the government. <laughs> I am not the fucked up man. I am not a part and then the chorus again Awesome. Um, yeah, this is a really cool, this was a fun, unexpected surprise. I have, I had no idea that this single was releasing. At the time of this recording, it's only been out for like a day or two. Um, I had some people comment and try to get a hold of me on Instagram to let me know that it had released, but it was already out. Um, otherwise, I probably would have tried to do something similar, like a real-time reaction like I've done for Katy Perry and Lady Gaga in the past, but I didn't know this was happening, and I wasn't told about it until it was already out. So uh, I tried to get it reacted to as soon as I could. Luckily, this week, for my recording scheduling, normally by this time in a week, I've already recorded my Melanie Martinez reaction, but I just didn't happen to do that because of my scheduling and things I've been working on this week, so we lucked out. Um, so yeah, this song is about a lot of different things. It's about... Um, 
you know, just inclusiveness and meanness in a group setting, whether it's at a church uh, Sunday school or whether just it's just in general in public. It's about people trying to work on themselves and then not trying to be snobs about it and wanting other people to work on themselves and not be a snob or an asshole about it. Um, and just this, the judgment and the bitterness and how people who have who have time to sit around and judge other people all fucking day, what would they do when something of actual seriousness and relevance in their life actually happened? They would fucking panic, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. This Let's at least try to figure out this main riff, because it seems like it was the same music throughout the entire song for the verse and the chorus, almost like a rap song where it's like the beat was laid down and then she just sung her message over the top. Uh, so let's try to figure this one out really quick. So it's not gonna sound exactly the same because it's a harp or a computer generated sound that's happening. It's not an acoustic guitar, but we can at least try to find the main bass melody. Let's go back to the beginning. So that's, I'm trying to figure out which ones are major chords and minor chords to try to fill out the higher pitch part of the melody, but the bass note is. Right, so then it's just a matter of figuring out those chords. So I feel like that's right. That's right. It's here where I need to hear it a couple more times to see if it's, well, that sounds right. So it's major. Let's see what that note is. Let me if I'm a kind of slave of the color me work tonight. Ain't it up to this fall? You must not know my heart, but I know it isn't your fault. You live in a world in your clutch. You don't get any much. Living a fake world filled with a sudden chaotic behavior. You pull the lever for fun. You'll fire, then you just run. Fire drill. That's garbage. Um, I want to hear it one more time. I want to hear it one more time. Yeah, I think it's more of a, like a little that. So it's. Something like that. Anyway, yeah, it's fun. Uh, I'll try to play it on screen really quick in case y'all trying to figure it out. Then I was playing this. That might be it. It's hard to tell for me for that one for some reason because it sounds off. I just can't put my finger on it. That This sounds right those two notes together this that doesn't sound right to me for some reason anyway that's the gist of it 
All right, put the guitar away. So yeah, catchy melody musically behind it. A lot of interesting uh, lyrics to go through and try to get different meaning and messages from, and a really good melody on top of it in both the verse and the chorus. It would have been really nice to get a music video with this one because I feel like there's a lot of uh, interesting and um, compelling imagery that you can make with the subject matter of this song. So hopefully you get a music video in the future and I'll react to that as well. Um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. If you liked what you see, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what this song means to you and if you have any, what your thoughts are on the song. And if you have any other requests for reactions on my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.